Welcome to another absolutely awesome GCN Tech unboxing. And this week we have such an incredible prize that it's making me really excited and so much so I want to say, wahoo! Oh, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, let's show you what the prizes are. Oh God, this is not designed for weedy cyclist arms. <laughs> so we have a Wahoo Kicker Smart Trainer, brand new 2018 model. But that's not all. We also have. Oh, this is a bit less heavy. A Wahoo Kicker Headwind Smart Fan. How cool is that? So, to be in with a chance to win, as ever, stay tuned to the end of the video and all the details will be there. And also, don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon, as this will give you a notification every time we upload a video, including videos where we give away awesome prizes like this. So, one lucky winner will win both of these. How awesome is that? Well, a brand new kicker and a brand new kicker headwind smart fan. How cool is that? Well, pretty, pretty cool, I guess, seeing as that's exactly what it does. Pull you down. Anyway, right, let's crack on. Let's get the kicker unboxed first, and then we'll do the headwind. Even acting. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we have the Wahoo kicker here, and we've also got the accessories that it comes with. So you've got your power lead, um, it can run without the power, uh, and it's also got adapters in here so that you can use either a quick release or through axles. And it also comes with an 11 speed cassette, which is really useful. The kicker is a direct drive turbo trainer, which means that to use it, you take out your rear wheel and attach the back of your bike onto the unit. Now, the main advantage of this over a traditional turbo where you leave your rear wheel in is that you can actually avoid the rear wheel slippage of your back wheel on the roller when you're doing high torque efforts. And also, it gives just a much more realistic road feel when you're riding as well. The Kicker is also an open source smart trainer, which means it's really good for using third party apps such as Zwift uh, if you want to do your virtual training. And also, it's got an inbuilt power meter. So it's actually very clever in that it can adapt the resistance you encounter depending on the terrain you're riding or your workout in, in a virtual world. So basically, it makes it harder when you ride up hills and easier when you ride downhills. Now you might be looking at the kicker and thinking, that looks remarkably similar to the previous version. Well, it isn't. There's some key differences. So firstly, the flywheel has been massively increased. And this means it carries far more inertia so that when you're freewheeling down those virtual descents, it feels far more realistic. Also, the power limit has been increased to 2,200 watts. And I don't know about you, but the uh, previous limit of 2000 watts just wasn't quite enough for me. <laughs> it just wasn't enough for all the power that I can produce. Oh, I did like at least 600. Whoa. But my favorite new modification to the kicker is that the new one is much, much quieter. In fact, it's almost completely silent. So the previous version made a distinctive whirring sound once you kind of got it up to speed. And Wahoo discovered that this was down to the uh, belt on the gates drive on the flywheel actually having U-shaped teeth. So they've changed it to V-shaped teeth. And the result is a unit that's much, much quieter. So quiet in fact that, well, I, I guess it's just easier if I show you. It really is impressive how quiet the new kicker is. In fact, the only noise that you can hear is the noise of my bike and the drivetrain. That's awesome. That is impressive. And it's also incredibly useful if you live in a building where you don't want to annoy your neighbors or you're trying to fit your turbo sessions in around other commitments and it means doing them at unsociable hours. But there is a downside and that means that you are probably going to have to maintain your bike because you're going to hear any noises that your bike's making. Hmm. But what about the headwind, I hear you ask? <laughs> and I can hear you because the, the kick is so quiet. <laughs> well, 
we're also giving you a chance to win the headwind. So let's get that and unbox that as well. I know, we're too good to see you guys. <laughs> The headwind has just been launched and it's what Wahoo describes as a variable speed vortex fan. It can be set to different levels to change the amount of air it blows to cool you down when you're riding on the turbo. And it also blows the air in a very narrow directed path at you on the turbo. Wahoo reckons that a traditional fan sort of blows out air in a much wider angle and most of this is useless because it's not actually hitting the rider. So, pretty cool. L literally, pretty cool. It's genuinely impressive how powerful the new headwind is and also, also how little wind you feel, even if you're slightly out of its path. The headwind has a manual control on it, but being a smart fan, it can also be set so that it's in tune with either your power, speed, or heart rate. So the faster you go, the quicker the headwind blows. Now for the bit that you've all been waiting for. Competition time. How do I win these amazing prizes? Well, that's really simple. Simply click on the link in the description below and then that will take you to our giveaways page. Follow the instructions and you'll be in with a chance to win. And then why not check out the GCN shop? We've got all manner of goodies for you, including GCN towels, which are particularly useful when things get a bit sweaty on turbo. Then, if you're looking for another video to watch, how about you uh, check out the latest GCN Tech Show, where me and John discuss whether disc brakes have finally made it in the Pro Peloton. Until then, see you later, and good luck. <laughs>